the Authentic Tea Podcast, brought to you by Resilience Yoga. This is the perfect place to find that time and space just for you. I am your host, Rach, and I'm excited to share with you my love of yoga, meditation, and conscious living. As a medic, I understand the challenges of working in medicine as a woman and the desire to maintain a sense of self and authenticity. This podcast will bring you thoughts and ideas on how to create balance each day and to cultivate practices that allow you to connect to yourself and the world around you. I'm honored to be sharing my cup of tea with colleagues and friends who share their experience of creating their own path through life. I hope these stories inspire you to free your inner self and live more mindfully each day. Mindfulness-based exercises for anxiety. Wow, anxiety. Even the word might make you feel queasy. The underlying physiological and emotional response that triggers anxiety is relatively easy to understand, but controlling our reactions is much harder. How can mindfulness-based exercises help us to manage anxiety when it decides to rear its head? One of my earliest introductions to mindfulness was a workplace mindfulness-based exercise for cardiac nurses. The square breathing exercise is one I've shared with friends before I was a yoga teacher and something I practice with students today. Simple mindfulness-based exercises can free our anxious mind and let the caged birds fly away. So why do we feel anxious? To understand anxiety, we need to remind ourselves about fear. The feelings and emotions of anxiety come from a release of adrenaline, the body's flight and fight response to a perceived threat. These responses can be life-saving in the case of fear when we are responding to actual danger. The challenge with anxiety is that the risk is non-existent, much smaller or less threatening than we actually perceive. This heightened state of threat, whether present or not, will force our minds to focus on these emotions. We all feel it differently. A jug of water on the head, the chest tightness and suffocation, painful sharpness of thoughts, or the caged head of ideas. Anxiety can result in our minds and bodies being in different places, not being truly present for ourselves or for the people around us. When repetitive, either from a genuine threat or a perceived truth, this can be exhausting and consuming. So what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is about being fully present in life and paying attention to each moment. Grounded in Buddhist traditions, the concept and use of mindfulness can be traced back even to Brahmanic practices. Pema Chodron writes beautifully, It is helpful to realise that being here is all we need to be fully awake, fully alive and fully human. Mindfulness can be modelled on three elements. Intention, attention, and attitude. The magic of these elements creates a shift in perspective. We are less in our heads and able to be the observer of our own stories. What are mindfulness-based exercises? Mindfulness-based exercises incorporate practices to cultivate focus, self-regulation, and awareness. Mindfulness-based stress reduction MBSR, it was introduced by John Kabat-Zinn in the 1980s and originally designed to manage chronic pain. Kabat-Zinn's definition of mindfulness is the awareness that arises through paying attention on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally to the unfolding of experience moment by moment. Eventually, Kabat-Zinn's programme would be applied to healthy participants to learn meditation techniques to relieve stress and anxiety, or in the case of the mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, MBCT, to aid recurrent depression. And there are more specific programs of mindfulness-based relapse prevention, MBRP. 
mindfulness training for smoking, MTS, or mindfulness orientated recovery enhancement, MORE. When the published research on mindfulness-based exercises is mapped, evidence of the impact on anxiety, depression and stress are clearly shown. These can be equally demonstrated in populations of healthcare workers, in the workplace and also when delivered online. So what is the difference between mindfulness and meditation? If you've ever tried mindfulness-based exercises, you might be familiar with the idea of a grape eating practice or a body scan. But what is the difference between these mindfulness-based exercises and meditation? Many of the concepts we use to meditate have similarities with mindfulness. We can actually combine the two. Mindfulness-based meditation uses mindfulness to create the meditative state, focusing on a single point of attention and awareness. However, you don't need to meditate to practice mindfulness. Simple mindfulness-based exercises can be helpful particularly in anxious moments. Three mindfulness-based exercises to help anxiety. Number one, square breathing. This mindfulness-based exercise helps to regulate the depth and the breadth of your breath. Follow your breath around the image of a square. Breathe in, hold the breath, breathe out, hold the breath again, all for a count of four seconds. Repeat the cycle. Increase or decrease the number of counts on each breath and each hold as needed. This exercise will slow the breathing, create calm and can be done easily during the working day. Number two, progressive muscle relaxation. A full body scan can be done in Shavasana, but the same principle can be applied without lying flat. As we become anxious, we tense muscles. Systematically guide your focus to each muscle group. You can start at the top of your head or the tip of your toes. Gently tense the muscle group for 10 seconds and then release for 10 seconds and then move on to the next muscle group. Working through even a section of your body can give you a few moments of calm in a busy shift. Number three, mantras. These are a simple statement to repeat silently in your head or even speak out loudly to yourself in the mirror. They can have a powerful impact on stilling the mind. Try starting with a phrase like I am. Use any adjective that speaks to you. Choose something that creates feelings of strength, joy and calm. Repeat the mantra several times at a point of anxiety or even try writing it down in a notebook. Remember that every moment we have is unique. Try a mindfulness-based exercise and hopefully next time you feel anxious, you can take control and calm your mind. As a dear yogi friend of mine says, we do not breathe in the past or the future, but only in the here and now. Being present is truly the greatest gift we can give ourselves. If you've enjoyed listening, please subscribe, rate, write a quick review and join us again soon.